morning it is 50 degrees out the sun is warm the birds are chirping it's going to be the most beautiful day and i have the day off i'm so excited to get dressed up and go get coffee go get my nails done and really really enjoy the shit out of this day well good morning welcome did you see that beautiful sunshine out there I have on this lilac -y color eyeshadow from the Sweet Escape. It was the same palette I used in the last video that we did together. I'm still playing with it just because it's such a perfect spring palette. So I did this, wait, no, this on the edges of my eye and then I did this on the lids and a little bit of this on the tear duct, as you can see. So it's a pretty palette if you have ipsy i always say you know if you want there's a link below and i'm an affiliate with ipsy so if you want to click that link they give you these deals i just got a notification that my mega box like my x i think it's called x that's when you get the huge big they do them every three months or something the last one we just did was bailey sarian's box this is a different one and i looked at all the things that's coming in it and it's a good one it's a good one so i'm excited to get that anyway today is a beautiful sunny day i have it off i have this opportunity to go do some things so we're doing it all we're getting our nails done we you and me <laughs> getting our nails done i'm still playing with powder i like the powder so far i think it's the only thing i can do the green flash system that i got i like it i'm still using it but it doesn't last very long and my nails still are short so that doesn't solve the fact that i want extensions i want long ass nails that's still a problem with the allergy as well. The powder nails are the only thing that I feel like I don't have an allergic reaction to, which I don't understand why I don't, because they, when they put the extensions on, they use glue. I don't know what kind of glue they use, but this one specific place that I go to, I don't have problems. And then we're going thrifting. I'm on the hunt for cowboy boots, and I have a couple other things on a list. So excited about today. As you saw, the weather is gorgeous. Tomorrow's a rainy day, so I'm taking advantage. Okay, here's the outfit. Got on a little thrifty purpley gray dress that I got and I love it so much. It has pockets, little white flowers all over it. I have on a... <laughs> Wearing a green harness over top of that. A nude crossbody by Rabinka, Rabinka? <laughs> Rebecca Minkoff. Anyway, what you saw this morning was my milk frother. I'm so excited about that. If you guys are interested, I'll leave a link below for it. Um, it's amazing if you like warm, foamy, cappuccino style foam on your coffee and it also does cold foam which I think will be really nice when it gets really hot and we can do some iced coffees this summer. I'm gonna let my dogs out. My appointment is in 30 minutes so I'm gonna wrap this up, get going. We're gonna hit the road. It's gonna be a lovely day. I'm so excited. All right well here is a before of the terrible state of my nails. Let's go have a panic attack and get them done. Yay! Look at how good she did. I have not seen my nails look this good in so long. I actually told her that I would like to request her because this is by far the best shape I've ever had. Anyway, we are off to get coffee and go thrifty. After getting my nails done, I ran over to Olympia Coffee Shop. It's across the street from my nail salon and is the best local coffee. Then I got in 
to the racks at Goodwill. We dug and we dug. I actually went through every aisle, which I try to avoid doing if I don't want to overspend, but I was looking for a lot of random stuff. So we even headed over to the baskets. I'm looking for one of those stair baskets that you can put on a stairway. It looks like a Tetris puzzle piece, no dice. Popped over to Value Village to look for some cowboy boots. I did find some really great black ones. They were too small, but stay tuned to see what I got. Well, the thrift gods were listening to me today. Success, you guys, spoiler, success. I found what I was looking for. We're gonna go back, I'm gonna show you what I got. I've got some clothes, I wanna style, and I can't wait to show you what I got. I'm gonna start with the exciting thing, can't believe it. I found cowboy boots. They have the tags on them because I really, I just have a hard time buying really worn shoes because it's just like where have they been and how much sweat is in them you know i'm like an eight to an eight and a half these are nine and a half whenever i have gotten cowboy boots in the past i've had to size up a whole size because they are so narrow that's what i've learned with all boots mostly is that i have to go up like a half size to a full size depending on the brand and Prada, for instance, I have to go a whole size and a half up because their shoes are so narrow. So I put them on and I walked around in them and I was like, I think I can make these work. And for the price and for being brand new and being the exact shoe, like to the T, exactly what I'm looking for. I was looking for suede. I was looking for brown. I was looking for brand new. I, I just, everything checking every box, I figured I don't care if they're a size and a half too big. I'm an eight, eight and a half. So they're about a full size too big. The other thing that I got that was on my list and the only other thing that I got that was on my list is a jello mold. I want to make a jello mold with all of the fruit inside and put it on a plate and I wanna take a picture because there's something I got recently and I wanna do a comical picture with an old jello mold. This is the perfect size of exactly what I was looking for. And this was the tag color that was marked down today. That was a good score. How cute is this? Yeah. It's so cute. It's five. I actually thought it was an odd number. I feel like one's missing because there's that's just an odd number. Look at this dress. It has these balloon sleeves with these pom-poms on it. And then a really full skirt with like extra thick lining and pockets. And then at Value Village, I grabbed this. It is a very clueless <laughs> circa 2000 colored dress shirt. It was in the dresses. I feel like it's a little bit short, but I could wear biker shorts with it and it would be a cute top. So it's just a really nice flowy, yellow checkered shirt dress but i i just really got it because it just made me think of clueless and the final thing we've got some overalls we've got black jean daisy overalls it's an overall dress one of my favorites so i'm just always looking for things to putter around in the garden in have you know some tea sit outside maybe do a little light gardening and this would be perfect for that and uh, yeah, it's just really cute. So I hope this fits. This is outfit number one with the yellow shirt, just as I thought it's really short, which is fine. I do like it's a little long enough though to like cover the back. So I can wear little shorts with it. And I actually really like this outfit a lot. So I'm so glad I grabbed this because it's so lightweight, it's flowy and airy, but it's also kind of weird and different than something I have in my closet. I have actually nothing like this. All right, and then here is the overall dress with the daisies. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? It's quite roomy, actually. I have a lot of forgiveness here in case I want to eat some burritos. So love that for me. <laughs> it does have pockets. I could put my gloves in here. They're really deep pockets. It's like it's meant for it. Here's that mustardy kind of yellow dress the baby doll dress and look at it with the boots this is exactly why i wanted cowboy boots because dresses look so much cuter with cowboy boots and you don't have to wear anything that's like super dressy you don't have to wear heels but they're also just not like sneakers so they just elevate the outfit they still look really cute they're not too hot i feel like cowboy boots can be worn year round and they look so cute with the dress i actually tossed this back on because it's gotten so hot that even that other dress was too much 
material and I do usually like to wash things from the thrift store before I put them on but I'm about to go sweat in this and the last thing I wanted to do was wash it and then sweat in it. I'm gonna do my makeup with you. So what basically what happened is my husband gave me a gift and it's these amazing oven mitts with monster hands and it's a tattoo artist's merch. So it's this guy that he follows on Instagram and he has all this really cool merch actually. The oven mitts that he got are so me and so perfect and so funny and I love them. And I really don't wanna just like take a photo and say cool mitts. I wanna do something more funny than that. So what we're gonna do is my version of a bit of a cat eye smoky eye. We're gonna use the Anastasia Sultry palette because it has my favorite black eyeshadow in it. And we're gonna do a little bit of a smoky wing, but we're also gonna do the waterline. And whenever I do that, I get the most compliments and the most likes on a makeup picture for some reason. People really like it when I do this. So I've done it on camera. You guys have seen it before. It's a trick I've been using for a really long time and still one of my favorites. I did start to put a little bit of eyeshadow on my eye and it's not really the look I was thinking. It's a little bit more orangey than expected. I really wanted just like a nude neutral lid. So I'm gonna pack a little bit more of this nudie nude over top. The first thing we're gonna do is just define the outer edge of the eye with the color twig which is just the lightest brown in this palette i'm doing just little circular motions on the outer v of the eye drag it down underneath it looks a little crazy right now we're going to clean it up we're going to take noir which is the blackest black in here smoke it out to the edge i noticed earlier in this video that when i closed my eye there was like a glittery glue patch and it's just because these lashes are a week old so it's time to take them off and refresh because when the glue starts to this is supposed to be black glue when it starts to do that it's just kind of ready for a refresh i got this black liner if you remember over christmas actually i've never tried it so let's see if this is any good in the water line can you see what i'm doing so just adding this black pencil in the waterline. Get like a nice stiff brush or a little lip brush, something that's gonna have a little bit of like um, stiffness to it. Smudge this along that edge. Take the Noir again, and where you have your line, start to pull it up. So it's going into your wing and blend it out into your crease. This is one of those looks that works really well for somebody who has overhanging eyelids, who have hooded eyes, or when you open your eyes, they tend to stamp from your liner lash line to the top. So that doesn't happen because you've already got black eyeliner there. So you've beat it to the punch. We're gonna go in with the Kimchi and Naomi Smalls collab palette from Kimchi Beauty. And they just have the best greens in here. I had to go off camera and just clean it up. I need to get close to the mirror. And so I basically just cleaned up the edge, kept going in and darkening this wing out here. I popped just a little bit of glitter over top of the center. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I did some lower lash mascara. We're just going to do a, like the kind of same contour that I did when I did Morticia's makeup for Halloween. This is the NARS contour. Take the Bare Minerals Call My Blush blush and get some color on this face because I feel like it's just all eyes. I'm not going to bronze. I'm just going to keep it contour and blush this time. And 
lips we need to do something really neutral because this is enough and I was even thinking just a clear gloss might do the trick but I do want to give my lips a little shape so I'm going to try to give them an outline without uh being really really noticeable and then this is the buxom charlie gloss it's just a clear pearl color so see how the liner i'm really just using that to give my lips a little shape but i really just want it to be about a clear glittery gloss all right, so I'm actually going to clean up this makeup a little bit. I'm gonna get a little closer to the mirror, make sure it's how I want it. That's the makeup for now. I hope you guys had fun watching me do a little bit more of a dramatic kind of drag-esque um, makeup look. I'm gonna go finish getting ready. Doesn't this outfit make this makeup look so much better? This is the dress of dreams. Isn't it absolutely glorious? The only thing about this dress, it is from Shein. Lately, I've been reading some scary things about some of these fast fashion places, and you guys know I prefer thrift and vintage, but when you see a dress in an ad that's just everything you've ever dreamt of, and it's like really affordable, it's hard to not click purchase. You also gotta live your life. <laughs> so we have our Jello mold. We have our Jello. So if I wanna do the speed set method, there's two methods. Uh, one is speed set, one is just doing it slowly. I'm hoping that the speed set is gonna work. So you dissolve the gelatin in a half, one and a half cups of boiling water, and then you add ice to one cup of cold water to make two and a half cups, and then stir it in till it's thickened. So it appears that... I'm making my goblin syrup. Okay, that does smell really good. Now we are going to pour it into our mold and then we're going to float some pineapples. This is the point where the jello went all wrong. Adding the pineapple ruined the consistency. I wanted to hold the jello mold with the oven mitts, but now I can't. I still left it in because I think it's interesting. And now we're going to refrigerate our jello mold and see what, uh, what comes out. Oh, that's cute. Look how you can pour it. You just hold the little loops. I think maybe the jello mold might be scratched. I can't wait that long to get a picture with it. So I'm just gonna go get it. I think I'm just gonna go get a photo with the makeup and the oven mitt and scratch the jello mold thing and save that for something else. So here are the oven mitts and I need to go get a picture with these while I still have this makeup on. It's that monster, the monster makeup look and get some cute photos with it. And that's gonna be it. So here's the photos. Thanks so much for watching this. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.